What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be installing the Dobinson's 4x4 snorkel system for the third generation Tacoma. I forget if it works on the second generation or not. Um, the reason you might wanna run a snorkel is because if you're doing any kind of off-roading where you're gonna be crossing some serious water, or even if you're doing like off-roading in a convoy where you have multiple vehicles in front of you, you're going to want a cleaner intake uh, of air. Because what happens is, even if you're not going through water crossings, if you're behind two or three cars on a dusty trail, your filter is going to get all sorts of choked up with uh, sand, dirt, debris, what have you, that are kicked up by the vehicles in front of you. Um, that's mainly the reason why I'm running a snorkel. I don't plan on doing any kind of serious water crossings. However, um, I do do a lot of beach driving with other vehicles. And because of that, I wanna make sure that my engine is getting the cleanest, most filtered air possible. Um, there are some people who say, hey, you don't really need a snorkel in the Tacoma because the stock air intake is actually on the passenger fender flare up in the top of the tire well. And if you're getting water up to there, you're probably going to have more issues than just water uh, going into your engine anyway. You're probably already going to swamp the thing. What's up? So I'm at my buddy Rodney's house. Rodney is in the Navy. He's an airman and he works on all sorts of stuff. He works on helicopters. I think he fixes boats and he's no stranger to putting holes into perfectly good aircraft and vehicles. And so we got the snorkel here. Again, this is the Dobinson's 4x4 snorkel. See it right here, we're gonna unbox it real quick and then punch a hole in the side of this and get that thing hooked up. So as you can see here, I've prepped our surface where we're going to be drilling and putting that big template down on. Um, you should probably do the second. Your first step is actually to remove the stock factory air box, which I'm about to do right now. All right, we've removed the factory air box. You can see there's the big hole where all of your normal stock air comes in through your passenger side front fender. And then our next step is going to be to actually remove that fender liner so that we can get under there because you're gonna have to drill some holes in that. And the only way to put the nut on the bolt is to get your hand up in there. You're not gonna be able to do that unless you take that fender liner down. So we're midway through getting the fender flare off. This has taken us the better part of like 45 minutes and it shouldn't because these little plastic clips in there are absolutely impossible to get off. We tried everything, we tried YouTubing and we've just kind of decided that we're just gonna break them um, and maybe not even put that little plastic fender liner back in there or possibly get new clips and then have to put them on at a later date. Uh, this is what I would call over engineering on the part of Toyota. Nice going guys. Right now, Rod is drilling a little pilot, just using a nail. Simple and effective. There you have it. Just punched the hole in a perfectly good Tacoma. How'd it feel, Rodney? <laughs> She better fit. Just go in. We're out. Hmm. 
Oh, this is embarrassing. This is oh, this is awkward. I swear, honey, it's not, this, this never happens. <sighs> Three hours later, me and my favorite airman rod got this thing all set up. She's looking pretty awesome, and hopefully we get to take her for a romp this weekend. Should be fun. And this was kind of my retail therapy since my whole cross country trip got canceled due to a nationwide pandemic. Um, and there's still a little bit of money in the tank for some other things. So we'll see what happens with the Tacoma. Thank you guys all for watching. It's sweaty. I'm gonna go get some water. Take it easy.